Hello, so welcome again to another beautiful episode of Reaction on the channel. If you see me for the first time, you're welcome. My name is Daniel and you're welcome to Daniel React. What we do on this channel is to keep you entertained with a lot of engaging content that we also educate and also enlighten you in various aspects. So if this is what you love or you would love to watch, what you need to do is to hit on the subscribe button, like our videos and also drop a comment in the comment section telling us what you think and your thoughts about the video so without further ado don't forget to also share our videos it helps us to build the brand better and you can tend to support the channel with a little you can check the description you will see um, buy me a coffee where you tend to support us with a little you can which is on the screen so thank you and let's dive into today's video presidential debates when trump was speaking trump would go full screen and they would maybe cut back and forth for a split screen cnn made the production decision to show joe biden while donald trump was speaking it was hard to even listen to what trump was saying because you were trying to say is, is joe biden okay the visual was that joe biden was doing the mouth open while donald trump was speaking and so biden would be looking in different directions left right up down and as far as television goes historically visuals are important this was a worst a worse visual performance than richard nixon sweating after back surgery in the jfk presidential debate of 1960. so the split screen hurt joe biden tremendously and then it was very clear and this is where it gets super interesting as soon as the debate was ending, it is very clear that a CNN executive, probably in harmony and in symmetry with Democrat leaders, they gave the green light. You see, we were watching the entire debate with our war room. Do we have a picture of the war room we could put up? We were clipping and, you know, we thought, wow, this is going great for Trump. And I said, do other people think this too? I mean, because you I said Joe Biden is doing terrible, but, you know, we're obviously partisans. We're on Team Trump, resolutely. And Jack Posobiec, to his great credit, we were doing a stream together. Jack says, I want to hear what CNN has to say. I said, I don't know, but Jack's instincts were right. Yeah, look, we can put the war room up on screen. John King sent the salvo. He was the first Tomahawk missile against the Biden campaign. Once John King opened the floodgates, the Rubicon was crossed. Everybody on that panel, everybody on MSNBC said, oh, we can say that. What cut is John King? The first John King comment, which, by the way, John King is a left wing journalist. He's somewhat fair, but he's very trusted by the intelligentsia and the ruling class of D.C. John King gave people a permission to unload. He basically said, I'm talking to senior Democrats. This is an unmitigated disaster. They don't think Joe Biden can do it. He's going to face calls to be pulled out of this race. He's going to face calls to, to get pulled out. Unmitigated disaster. And I want to play the piece of tape here of John King. This is it. Cut 120. This right here was an ambush. My working hypothesis is that the media was willing to resurrect Joe Biden's campaign if he would have been passable. As soon as Joe Biden was hardly, hardly intelligible, the green light was lit and the dogs were released. Play cut 123 minutes into the debate and it continues right now it involves party strategists it involves elected officials it involves fundraisers and they're having conversations about the president's performance which they think was dismal which they think will hurt other people down the party in the ticket and they're having conversations about what they should do about it some of those conversations include should we go to the white house and ask the president to step aside others are other of the conversations are about should prominent democrats go public with that call because they feel this debate was so terrible. And from there, the pile on continued. The ambush did not slow down. It accelerated. In fact, I just took a picture of a CNN Chiron. And it says Biden's disastrous debate sends reelection bid into crisis. Now, many of you say, oh, this was all a setup against Biden. Maybe, maybe. I think that some people on high wanted to try to see if Biden was as bad as they feared, can they pull him? But pulling him is a lot easier said than done. And I'm going to get into that the best I can this program. 
John King continued. Actually, let's go to this one. This is Nicole Wallace, another regime appointed spokesperson, play cut 128. And there is a conversation happening um, inside Biden's circle and certainly a much more frank conversation happening inside the Democratic coalition. And I think there will be stories of a lot of concern about the performance tonight. And I think what when you say conversations happening, what do you mean? I think people are talking. I think the conversations range from whether he should be in this race tomorrow morning to what was wrong with him. Breaking news report, quote, all options are on the table. Chiron right now. Now, it's tempting to say, oh, this was all a setup to try to get rid of Joe Biden. So let me get this clear. You want to have a summer debate where your entire party looks like a bunch of liars, that you are filled with treachery and deceit, that you've been saying Joe Biden is perfectly mentally fit. And then you have to, for the first time in American history, pull an incumbent president nominee before the nomination. So you wanted it this way? Maybe. I think that now it is in front of them, the green light that was then lit and the dogs released, they have no choice. They have no choice but to try and remove Joe Biden, but only if Joe Biden goes willingly. If Joe Biden does not release his delegates at the Chicago convention coming up in mid-August, and they bizarrely chose a very, very late convention. They could have chose the week after the RNC. However, the Olympics start close to that. So the Olympics, by the way, might have actually helped us out here. It goes RNC, Olympics, Democrat convention. That is the sequence of summertime programming. The Olympics goes for about two and a half, almost three weeks. Who do they pull him with exactly? Oh, you might say Gavin Newsom. Why do you say that? Because he does a lot of press conferences. He's he's just going to leapfrog over Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris, who is a black female, who is the base of the Democrat Party. He's just going to leapfrog it. And by the way, other pe- a lot of people in the Democrat Party don't like Gavin Newsom. This is a disaster for the Democrat Party. And the lesson for us is this. There is a game afoot. There is something happening. What do we do about it? We must do the work. This weekend is a wonderful weekend to wear your MAGA hat and go register new voters at tpaction.com slash vote. This weekend is a great weekend to get involved in your local Republican Party. This weekend, this July 4th weekend, every time you see an American flag, make sure they're registered to vote. Wear that MAGA hat. Become the force multiplier in your community. President Trump was a triumphant winner last night, just as much as Joe Biden was a loser. And I want to dwell on that because there's not enough attention. Donald Trump allowed Biden to lose. Let me say that again. Donald Trump allowed Biden to lose. He deserves unbelievable credit for his self-control, his restraint, his prudence, and his ability to see the big picture and not take the bait. The last 24 hours is the most hopeful I have seen from the Supreme Court decisions, which we'll get to Mike Davis in just a second, to what happened last night. There's a lot of chatter about how terrible Joe Biden did, but not enough credit for how brilliant Donald Trump performed and allowed Joe Biden to hang himself. Do not interrupt your enemy if they are destroying themselves. This is a perfect piece of tape here that demonstrates this. This is 116, prepare it. Where Donald Trump could have said, you are a senile and terrible and dementia-filled person. And it was perfect. This piece of tape is going viral, and it should. And it's Donald Trump at his best with a gentle touch. Just pushing Joe Biden away, saying, you're done. You're fired. Play cut 116 on the the, the, the the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? I, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. Look, we had the safest border in the history of our country. The board, all he had to do was leave it. All he had to do was leave it. I don't know what he said at that uh, the end of that sentence. Donald Trump very well could have escalated the debate. And and Joe Biden was trying to provoke him with the losers and suckers hoax with all of that. He's allowing, he allowed Biden to lose. And then there was this moment where Joe Biden inexplicably said, well, uh, we beat Medicare. Trying to find that tape where he says, yeah, we, uh, we beat up Medicare, and Donald Trump responded beautifully. Well, yes, 
you did beat Medicare. You beat it up terribly. What I love also was the message discipline. It was almost a running joke in the office, and it was brilliant on Trump's behalf. No matter what the question was, he brought it back to the border. They said, uh, what is your opinion on child care? The border is wide open. What about climate change? The border is wide open. Play cut 97. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, he's right. He did beat Medicare. He beat it to death. Perfect answer. Perfect. He, I mean, he just he was he was talking about all the place and we finally beat Medicare. I made this point last night. By the way, our, our live stream last night just on Twitter X. I had 12.5 million views on Twitter X. And that is just on Twitter. On YouTube alone, half a million views. Rumble, nearly a million views. We were also on the great Real America's Voice. Thank you to the six, Parker and Rob. You guys were super great to us last night. Uh, easily we had... 15, 16 million people watch the Charlie Kirk show live stream slash Jack Posobiec thought crime live stream. I said this last night on the live stream. NFL football games increase in viewership as you get closer to the fourth quarter. Increase. So I, I'm one of those guys. If I don't really care that much about the game, I will watch the third or fourth quarter because I got other stuff to do. Unless I'm really into the teams, really into the players. So it increased, second quarter goes up, after halftime goes up, and then fourth quarter spike. Close game. Mahomes has the ball. Okay. Presidential debates are the exact opposite. Presidential debates start with extremely high viewership. And after about seven to ten minutes, they go off a cliff. They just go straight down, and they don't recover. They go down, and they plateau. Because most people are not as political as we are. They're not. So Joe Biden did not just do poorly. Joe Biden had his glitches in the moments where viewership was the highest. If Joe Biden would have glitched out at the end of the debate, it would have been bad, but it wouldn't have been nearly as catastrophic to the low information voters. And don't take my word for it. According to a CNN post debate poll, 67 percent of viewers say Donald Trump won the debate. Sixty seven percent. Now, we're running out of time here in this segment, but coming up next hour, we have Vivek Ramaswamy. We have Ari Fleischer. We're going to get into the details. How are they going to pull Joe Biden? All options are on the table. I have a theory of how it could possibly work, but this is a calamity for them. This is a mess. There are no good options. None. There's ballot access issues getting on the ballot in Wisconsin, getting on the ballot in Nevada, getting on the ballot in Georgia. There's convention issues. And let me be clear, is the party of democracy going to pick a nominee without their voters? This was the Hindenburg for them last evening. And they do not have a path forward. And it's time for us to go full acceleration and play to win. Right. So um, let me have your own thought and view relating to this uh, particular one and in line Please and please drop it in the comment section. No insulting words. Let's not um, cause uh, a scene in the comment section. So I'll be expecting your comments. Drop it in the comment section. So if you want us to be friends, why not? Hit on the subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell so you get notified by YouTube anytime videos like this drop. For all our returning subscribers, I appreciate you all for always coming back to check on any of the updates or videos we have on the channel. I appreciate you all. I don't take a lot for granted. You guys are the real MVP. So thank you guys. I appreciate you. Uh, I, I own a right to this particular one. All right belongs to the rightful content creator of this great piece of art, which I don't intend to infringe on the copyrighted materials. The main purpose of this video is to educate, enlighten you, and also inspire you um, and the little knowledge you haven't known. So thank you. If you intend to support this channel, why not? Check on the description, you'll see 
where you can support the channel, buy me a coffee. That way you tend to support us with a little you can. Let's build the brand better. I know with your support, with everyone's support, with our collective support, this brand will be further. So thank you. Don't forget to like. It helps the algorithm to push this video to a larger audience. And let's build the brand better. So thank you. See you in the next one. Do what? Stay put. Stay safe and stay subscribed. Before I forget, if you have a video recommendation you want me to react to, drop it also in the comment section. I'll be excited to react to the video of your choice. So come your way. See you in the next video. It's bye for now.